Hello beautiful humans of YouTube. Welcome back to my channel or hello. My name is Nicole Zan and today I am doing another favourites kind of top 10 haul kind of video where I share what I have been loving for the month of the spring. So before we get into the video, I just want to say that I have not been feeling the best with making videos. I've been so super duper enthusiastic with making videos and I think that kind of shows in the videos I create. It's really, really difficult sometimes to, and I don't want to sound bad because I know a lot of people do YouTube and I'm getting nervous, I'm starting to move and I'm sorry. But I know that a lot of people work, have jobs and whatnot, but I have been struggling to find time to make videos and to the best quality I can. And I think this is the first kind of like wall I've hit on this channel and I've also like considered not uploading anymore and not uploading enough. So I think I've kind of like really hit my first bump on YouTube, which really, really sucks, but I'm still plodding along. But I just don't know like how this channel will go anymore. I don't know if I'll continue it. My life is just changing so much and my energy just needs to be in different places, although I love making videos. So whether this becomes less con like consistent and better quality, I don't know. We'll figure it out. But I just wanted to make a point if I don't upload one week or you kind of like, <laughs> she's not rocking herself, it's because I'm actually really, really struggling. So I thought I'd let you guys know. So, yeah, YouTube isn't always the fun games. So there's a fly. It's not always fun and games. So, yeah. But besides that little rant, make sure to comment down below, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and do the usual. I, I promise you I'm a lot happier usually than this. And this is this can be a fun YouTube channel. Anyway guys, like I said, I really want to share some top 10 things that I've been loving for the springtime. So, I live in Australia and right now it is springtime. So, everyone's getting ready for the fall and a lot of YouTubers are like getting ready for fall because I follow a lot of American YouTubers. And I'm like, I'm getting ready for summer. Spring, amazing yeah so where I live in Australia or well actually I think the whole of Australia we we just don't really get lots of different types of seasons like you just can't really tell whether it's when or you can but you can't really tell if it's spring or summer because the weather's so similar but where I live it rain it can rain a lot and it's just I don't know we have really bizarre weather and springtime is the like the time for the weirdest weather Ever. So one day can be really warm and the next day can be cold and rainy. So that's going to reflect in this video a little bit. So for example, for the springtime, you'll think you start wearing shorts, bathers, whatever. I'm still wearing jumpers sometimes. So for the springtime, I actually bought this for the springtime. And it's two jumpers and they're called Assembly Label. So I am wearing it right now because... It's like my most favorite jumper. It just fits really, really well. It's really loose. I'm a loose type of fitting girl jumper lover. So that reflects in my jumper choices. It took me literally 22 years of my life to figure out this is the type of jumper I love. So because I love this one, I also got myself a gray one. So, I've got two jumpers. One is a size 10, which is the gray, which is a bit smaller. And this is the size 12, which is a bit bigger. Anyway, so that was my number one favorite. I'm not actually gonna do the whole number one, number two. I'm just gonna share 10 things that I've been loving. If I lose count, apologies. The next thing that I love is some Nike shoes. I actually didn't get this for myself. Dylan bought this for me just to be sweet. So they're these bad boys. If you follow my Instagram, you probably have seen these quite a lot because I really love them. I've been eyeing them off for the longest time and he was a sweetheart and decided to buy me some. So thank you, Dylan. They're definitely my springtime favorite shoes 
I've ever owned. They're just so cool and they remind me of everything amazing in the 80s, 90s and all that era. And I am never going to part with these shoes. If you don't know this, I am a hoarder with shoes. I love shoes. I actually might make a video one day about me and my shoes because it's kind of insane. I don't think people understand how much I love sneakers and shoes. I don't really have heels and all that. I do like them and boots, but I just don't really wear them because I'm pretty tall. So sneakers it is. So I have a lot of sneakers. The next, oh, I guess I'm saying the next two. Oops, sorry. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in on myself. <laughs> so. <laughs> That's a better angle. Okay, so I watched the movie Once Upon a Time in Hollywood and it was about the Manson murders. I ha <coughs> <coughs> Ugh. I kind of knew what it was about. Not really. After watching the movie, I was a lot more interested in the whole story because I'm really into crime, true crime documentaries and that's my thing. So I was really excited to read this book. This is my mother's book and it's about one of the followers. Yeah, I have been reading this and that is my springtime reading book. Yeah, I have also been loving this mascara. Like that. Beautiful. It is. Oh, it's so good. I have gone through a lot of mascaras in the years, and so these were the three that I was wearing before. And I wore this one for the longest time. I just couldn't really find a mascara that I really loved. And I found it. So the problem with these other ones are this one doesn't give me enough. This one does, I don't know, it just doesn't work. And this one always crumbles underneath my eyes. As for this one, goes on so nice and lasts all day. Doesn't really crumble. It still crumbles if I like take a nap, which I do a lot. And I just overall really, really love this mascara. So I am loving it and I'm really excited to wear it for the summertime because when it gets really hot, everything feels like it's melting. So it'll be nice not to feel that way with this mascara. So I'm really, really excited to be wearing that for the spring and the summertime. Okay, so what I've been loving, now I'm going to get into a little bit of skincare and whatnot, is this Polish Naturalny Creme Olive Cover. So, <laughs> I think this might be the first time I spoke Polish to you guys on this channel. But anyway, I'm Polish by the way. And this is a cream that I got in Poland and it's cream for the face and it's made out of olives. And it is just so nice. I love it because it's just, it's just so delicate and it's really oily, which... I put only in at night time before I go to bed and I just cover my face in it and it's really really good I really 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 love it and if you can get your hands on it I would recommend it I don't know if Poland only sells them you definitely can't get it down here so I really like it I recommend it it's in my favorites and it's so good for the spring because our climate down here in Australia is so dry it hit me up the next thing I have been loving is this hand cream from Neutrogena. <sighs> Again, I'm a I'm a moisturized girl. Like I love my moisturizer. So that was for the face. This is the hands. And I use this a lot. I have a lot of different types of moisturizers, but this one is my favorite. And I don't know why, but every time I finish my shift at work, my hands are always super duper dry. And this just does the trick. I love it so then loving that. Okay, the next one was in my July, June, July favorites haul, and it was these Benzac acne moisturizer cleansing thing. I'm not going to talk about it, I'm just going to show it. But these are again my favorite kind of skincare things. So I put this on in the morning, and if I have a spot like an acne prone spot, I'll put it on and it works for me. I don't have acne. I don't really have pimples. And I think that's the reason is for this last skincare thing. This is Nivea Deli Essentials Gentle Exfoliating 
scrub. <laughs> I love it. I honestly do. So, I get a lot of little tiny red dots on my body. Essentially on my arms and on my legs and on my bum. So, I like to use this scrub with a glove, exfoliating glove. I pop it on and I also don't use a glove, but I put it on and I literally scrub my arms with this and the exfoliating glove and I think it helps. Um, and yeah, so there's little red dots that I don't know what they're called and I don't want to show the internet. Yeah, this is what I use to help me with those little red dots. And I also use this as a daily wash. So in the morning when I wake up and I'm pretty like tired, I usually like rub that even on a um, exfoliating glove and I still wipe my whole face with it because I really like it and I just feel like it just takes all that nasty stuff. Okay. Oh, we are almost there guys <laughs> so the next two things I haven't actually really I have a, um, I'm telling myself once I get me summer body spring body I'll start wearing these but I've got some crop tops and they are from Supre they were like let's see what it says on the tag they were $12 each, which I think is pretty good. They're really good quality. They're cute. I just don't know if I like this yellow, but I kept it. So I also have a yellow one. So they I don't know why I put them in my favorites. Well, I'm probably not going to wear them anytime soon, but I just like them. I have clothes that I like with tags and I'm just like, I love them, but I don't wear them. <laughs> so <laughs> until I get a more confident body, I'll probably wear them. But that's going to take a while. Anyway, the last thing I want to show is this bag. I'm not going to say the brand of this bag because I can't pronounce it. But this is a little mini version of this bag that you probably have seen all over the internet and could probably pronounce it. And I didn't buy it. My dad gave it to me. But it's been my favorite. I use this as my work bag to work. If I was at school, I'd probably use it for school, but I wear it. I use it to work. And it's really, really small and it's really, really cute. So just to put it into perspective, this is my wallet. This is the size of the bag. So it's pretty small, but it's pretty cute and I really like it. So it's in my favorites and I can so totally see myself wearing this with some cute outfits for the springtime. We are done guys. If you stay for that whole video, you're pretty cool. You're pretty chill. You're pretty amazing. Anyway, besides that, I am done. I'm not going to talk anymore. I'm just going to wrap it up here. Goodbye guys. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys soon with another video probably. And stay cool. Stay chill. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye bye. <laughs> bye guys. Oh, and look at my earrings. Anyway, wow. This camera is pretty cool. Anyway, bye guys. I gotta stop. <laughs>